A former Barcelona player and a former teammate to Juliano Messi had just been sentenced to four and a half years in prison in Spain and meant to pay more than 150,000 euros to his victim over rape allegations. So a court in Spain uh, found a former Barcelona player, Daniel Alves, guilty of raping a woman in Barcelona nightclub. He has been sentenced to four and a half years in prison, plus five years supervision after release, plus a communication with the victim for nine years and six months. He will also pay the sum of 150,000 US dollar to the victim, plus legal cost. Well, it's quite unfortunate for Daniel Alves, and uh, of course, his name will be registered in the country's uh, list. Quite unfortunate for him. Well, I think this is a lesson to every other entertainer out there, be it sports person, or be it musician, or actor, or any field you are in, as long as you are famous and popular, is you have to be extremely, extremely, extremely careful. If Neymar, for instance, wasn't that lucky that there was a hidden camera in the hotel room, Neymar would have been in trouble a long time ago. Neymar would not be Neymar that you see today. Neymar's career would have been ruined a long time ago. But thank God he had camera in that hotel that shows how the woman was forcing herself, pushing and punching Nema. So Nema should count himself among the lucky ones. Daniel Alves wasn't that fortunate. But also, I cannot say if he's guilty or not because the court has already uh, declared him guilty. So I am not the court. The court is in Spain, and so I cannot defend him, not at all, I cannot defend him. When it comes to women, men should be extremely, extremely cautious and careful, very, very careful when it comes to all those celebrities, most especially, you know. Well, Danny Alves, good luck to you in serving your friend there, four years and six months in prison, and uh, also good luck to, to you for five years after that, you're going to uh, be supervised all your life. Well, it's quite unfortunate, and uh, next time, do not make such mistakes again. Well, and now coming back to our own uh, uh, entertainers, be it entertainers anywhere, please be extremely careful. You know, there are ways you do this stuff. Uh, you have lawyers, employ lawyers, just in case, of course, you know, these entertainers, we have a lot of women who want to throw themselves on these entertainers, but you should be extremely careful now. You should have lawyers. A lawyer that will always draft a letter on your behalf to, on, uh, to give to any of all those girls who want to relax with you after partying, you know, give them and uh, they're going to sign a non-disclosure form and also make sure a fee is paid to these girls. Make sure a fee is paid. Your lawyer will handle everything. But you know, some of all those entertainers, they are so carried away with the fame and money and everything they'll be doing really crazy stuff, you know, just acting crazy generally. This guy just ended his career. He's a legend, but he just ended his career and uh, his reputation. Because after playing football, there are so many, many other opportunities for him to be like a reporter, to be a coach or to supervise or anything. But now I don't think any club will want to associate with him. I do not think any sport channels want to associate with him no i don't think so his record is stained forever that's unfortunate for him because of his carelessness yeah it's quite unfortunate having so much money and not having lawyers around you to protect you to help you now you are spending so much thousands on lawyers you are paying for your own legal fee and also pay for the woman's legal fee, and also paying the woman 150,000 uh, euro. And not just only that, you are still going to jail. <laughs> Even with the compensation and everything, you're still going to jail. Well, to our Nigeria celebrities over here, you guys need to be extremely careful. Of course, these all those things you are saying now, it's just a lesson to you guys. We saw Omale the other time rocking a girl on stage, you know, happily doing so and laughing. I hope sometimes you seek for their concert and ask for their age first.
Hmm? And don't just be carried away and after the whole show, you're just going to collect some random girl's number and just go into the club to uh, go into the club and after the club, just go into the hotel to enjoy yourself. Please, all the Nigeria entertainers, do not spoil the Afrobeat name. Currently, Afrobeat is going through the roof. And again, you know, once something is successful, we see these demons, devils, evil spirits trying to penetrate uh, that thing that thing evil spirit in human form most especially women form trying to penetrate and destroy the good name please these artists will be extremely careful do not destroy the good name of afrobeat please be extremely careful don't allow your testy attitude to make you do one thing wrong to destroy the good name of afrobeat please omale ruga and the rest of them, of course, you see David o do not do such thing. You see Whiskey do not also do such thing. You see even Bonaboy do not also do such thing. You need to be extremely careful. Learn from your peers not to get yourself in deep trouble. Even learn from Akon. Akon was also lucky. Learn. Do not allow your testy attitude to get yourself into deep ish because nobody going to come to your rescue. You still gonna, you, you will pay maximum you will pay the ultimate price if you if you are caught slacking so you have lawyers in place to protect you already before getting into that trouble don't spend so much after getting into this, that trouble that trouble you have lawyers that can draft a draft a, a statement draft a, an agreement if there's any you know all those guys are told i want to chill with you willingly want to chill with you there should be a lawyer that can draft you an agreement for them to sign, agreeing that they want to chill with you so that they can avoid what touches their heart after the whole event and scenario, after you guys enjoying yourself. So you have to be extremely careful, man. You have to be extremely careful, not for your sake alone, for the sake of your family and loved ones, for your fans as well, and also for the sake of other Afrobeat entertainers, not to be tagged, you know, if you guys messed up, if just one of you messed up, it's going to affect others. It's going to affect others. It's good name of Afrobeat. Please, please, be extremely careful. Be extremely careful. And meanwhile, uh, big up to Bonner Boy. He attempted something yesterday again, and uh, I'm happy to announce that he's the first person to have ever attempted it and also succeeded. So Bonner Boy attempted, uh, attempted selling out uh, Wind Trust Arena in Chicago, that is about uh, 20,000 capacity, and he succeeded in selling it out. Became the first artist to ever do that coming from Afrobeat Entertainment. And I like to see, I like to see people creating new ways, new wave for other Afrobeat entertainers. So that is why I am mostly appreciating Bonaboy now. Because there are so many, many venues, none of our Afrobeat artists ever thought of performing there. But Bonner Boy is like attempting it, attempting it, like going forward to do it. There are so many venues Bonner Boy have attempted selling out, but it wasn't able to sell out. But it still attempted it. That alone deserves some certain form of praise, you know. And he sold it out, completely sold out in Chicago. In Chicago, he sold it out completely. Man, no big up to uh, Bonham, boy. Uh, big up to you. And I uh, know it's not easy at all. It's not easy at all. So now every other art artist in Nigeria can follow. Just know that there, is, there are Afrobeat, uh, uh, Afrobeat fans in Chicago. At Wind Trust Arena, just know that. So go and book Wind Trust Arena Nest, and Afrobeat and, uh, fans will show up. Thanks to Bonner Boy who opened that particular paved that particular way for all the Afrobeat uh, entertainers. Thanks to him. Thanks to him. Thanks to him. You know this is what we want to see. This one. This is what we want to see them doing. You know, breaking records, uh, spreading Afrobeat, spreading the gospel in usa very soon eh? very soon because of the sweet melody of alphabet eh? alphabet might take over usa 
honestly. Afrobeat might, might take over the US. You know, uh, we are having more fans appreciating Afrobeat music more than the rap game, more than hip hop, more than some of the R&B, you know. But they are not still there yet, but they are stylishly going into the culture, going into the culture. Maybe the next 20 years, it will be so hard for you not to pass by without hearing uh, Afrobeat songs in the club, anywhere you go to in USA, in all those Europe countries. Very soon, very soon, very soon, very soon. And an and a artist like Michael Jackson, I believe, will be born in Nigeria. In the next 30 years, you know, in the next 20 years, 30 years, or even 10 years, an artist will be born in Nigeria that will be bigger than Michael Jackson and it will bring the Afrobeat uh, umbrella so high that we can ever imagine. Watch out, guys.